We're extremely excited here at Syntax HQ because we've just received an RME Babyface Pro. In fact, the very first to arrive in the UK. The Babyface Pro is the successor to the original RME Babyface and has been completely redesigned from the ground up. It simply oozes cutting edge technology. Everything is new from its sleek housing right through to the exceptional audio converters and mic preamps and still all bus powered over USB. So you can use the Babyface Pro almost anywhere. Let's take a first tour around the unit. The new Babyface Pro has been machined from a single piece of aluminium. And when handling it, you can really feel the craftsmanship and the attention to detail. You know you're holding quality and not just another run of the mill device. One of the first things you do notice is that there's no awkward breakout cable dangling off the back. Instead, all the IO, except for MIDI, is available on the unit. As you can see, the XLR connectors are actually built into the case itself, cutting down on size and ensuring a reliable, robust connection every time. There are four analog inputs, two mic and line XLRs at the rear and two line or instrument input jacks on the side. You also have two line outputs on XLR and two separate headphone outputs on the side. One with a standard jack and one with a mini jack. Each headphone output has a different impedance, so whatever your headphones, the Babyface Pro will be able to deliver a great level. On the left side, you have ADAT IO. Now this is great for expanding your setup with additional mic pre's, DA converters or outboard equipment. And then there's the MIDI breakout cable and optional DC power input. This is really only for when you're running standalone. When connected to a computer, the Babyface gets all the power it needs from the USB connection. The bus powering USB connection will take any standard USB cable. However, the unit ships with a right angled version that uses a special stabilizing connector known as Stabicon, and that gives you a flush and robust connection. Stabicon is also employed on the MIDI breakout cable. I just love that RME really do think of everything. There's a comprehensive front control and metering panel that puts all sorts of useful features not only on the computer screen but also under your fingertips. You can control individual output levels as well as input gain in both mono and stereo. There's even a mix mode that lets you adjust the input mix being sent to each output, which is great for quickly adjusting monitor feeds. The set button allows you to configure such things as clock settings, and along with the mix button can also be used as a user definable hotkey when connected to the computer. I found all this comes into its own, especially when in standalone mode with no computer connected. You effectively have a powerful portable mixer and monitor controller that will fit into your coat pocket. RME's renowned Total Mix FX software, present in the Babyface's larger siblings, is a fully integrated feature. With powerful routing and monitoring options, as well as built-in 3-band EQ, low cut, reverb and echo, this is such a great and often overlooked feature. Having used it, I can't imagine ever being without it. You can use it as much or as little as you like, but having all that power on tap is a great investment for the future. Holding down select and dim puts the baby face into CC mode, at which point CC is lit up on the front panel. Now CC stands for class compliance and when active allows you to connect directly to an iPad. RME have really pulled out all the stops when designing the new Babyface Pro. And I can safely say that we have a very special audio interface on our hands. Every feature and facet screams quality, and it's clear that serious thought has been put into how producers and musicians can get the most out of such a highly portable interface. And our verdict? Well, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> Thank you.